The two most sought after things are going to be gems and trade rerolls, and today I'm just going to show you guys the best way to get both of them. I don't want to make this video as short as possible, so let's dive into it. Let's first start off with gem. So the first one is going to be collections. Once you had yourself a new unit, you can go ahead and claim your collection. This includes evolving characters as well, but this is a stable way of getting some extra gems when you collect new units. Don't forget to claim your daily rewards, which is on the left of your screen. You click them for some free gems every single day. You're going to have to do your daily quests. You can find them in the quest tab on the right there's going to be quests that are going to give you gems for free every single time then up next achievements has a ton of gems in them as well collector mainly you can see own 10 different units gonna give you a bunch of gems i've already claimed all these but all these are going to give you some extra gems and then you get yourself of course your final reward if you complete every single test which is another 2,000 gems there's a few more methods where you can get yourself gems and trade rules but we will cover those when we check out the trade rules so up next is going to be playing some stages to gain gems one important thing is we're going to use a auto automatic program which is going to be called tiny task do not use auto clickers or any kind of form on mobile actually this changes your roblox application on your mobile and then you can get banned by roblox themselves so do not use it only use this on pc so we're mainly going to be using a program called tiny test this is to record what we're doing inside of a stage and this allows us to keep on repeating the same stage over and over and over again without playing ourselves which is absolutely awesome so we're gonna have two ways to make gems ones that gives you gems and xp which is of course useful for some other methods in the future of this video and the other one is to go for purely gems so if you want to stack the most gems in hour then you do this method so for the first method you're going to go to planet namek and go over to act five this could be easiest one and go ahead and you can see you can get yourself the same rewards for normal and nightmare so just go play normal and click confirm in here the setup is simple we're gonna have to be defeated one time first so we can see ourselves the reset screen and then we're gonna use tiny test to set up our program to allow us to afk farm while we wait to be defeated, I have some quick tips for some setup for you guys to face as well. So click continuous playback if you just want to go ahead and let the program keep doing its thing. Then you have yourself the recording hotkey set it to a print screen, F8 or F12 or whatever you want to do. And then the playback hotkey has to be something else than your recording hotkey so you can go ahead and use that as well. I'm going to set it to print screen to start recording and Control shift alt p to play the program back. I'm going to choose this corner so I know I'm always in the same position if I want to replay and use the same file. Okay, so our level filled. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and press recording. So we're going to press print screen right now. Boom. And we're going to click a few times in the middle. Click a few times on the retry button. Because sometimes, of course, the times mess up a little bit. Then we're going to spam click the top yes a little bit. And then we're just going to be able to will chill and wait. We need to get ourselves enough money for our unit. So this is all depending on what you're going to have. But these stages are so easy. You can probably complete it with like one or two units. So don't worry about it too much. But we're just going to wait until we have enough money to place our first unit down. Which probably will be our Vegeta Super. Okay, we have enough money. So we're going to click our Vegeta. We're going to wait a little bit. Because sometimes programs are a little bit faster or slower than the other time. And we're going to place them down right now. So there we go. Our first unit display is down. We're good to go. Of course, the program is recording everything. And it's going to keep repeating everything that we're going to do as well. So to make sure, I'm going to place just three units in total. I'm going to click Vegeta again. Waiting a little bit longer because I need to get more money. Just to be sure that everything is good to go. So it doesn't really matter anyway because Vegeta is so strong. These three units only have 50 HP. It's all whatever. So we're going to click it again. Boom. We now have two units. All good to go. And I think we're just going to place a third one. And we should be fine as well. I'm going to wait. And I'm like 5 to 10 seconds. Just to be sure that there is enough time. Because sometimes, of course, units are a bit faster. Or a bit slower. So you want to make sure that this program is perfect. So rushing literally has no purpose. And boom. And now I have three units. I could place a fourth one, but I don't really have the rush to do this. It doesn't really matter too much. And there we go. Freeze is going to go down. Of course, if you set up a correct early on area, a tiny task, it will take you around four and a half minutes to clear a stage. We're just going to be able to chill a little bit longer just to make sure that it's correct. Uh, we're going to give it like another like 10 seconds or whatever in the screen. And we're just going to keep on clicking the screen because... Uh, once the tiny task restarts, it's going to click the replay button at the bottom. So I want to make sure that there's enough time. So we're going to go into like 6 minutes 40. So like I said, this is a bit of a longer recording. We're going to press stop. And now every time I press Ctrl Shift Alt P, it's going to start and it's going to play 
the game for itself. I'm not doing anything. I could go for a coffee. I could go for a drink. See, it's going to click vote start and do everything perfectly every single time. So the beauty about this one is this is going to give you 80 gems around every five minutes and as well going to give you around 200 XP. So that's going to grind you those levels, which are going to be used to get more stuff as well, which is awesome. But if you want purely gems, then we're going to have to go ahead and do the in infinite waves instead so infinite waves are the exact same but instead of being at the start of the map you're going to go to the end and we're going to wait as long as possible and we're going to spam units that are strong around here you want to just of course look at what's your strongest unit so for example me that would be song jin Wu and vegeta super and we're going to go ahead and when we give enough money we're going to go ahead and place them around here of course if you have stronger units just use them instead be sure to of course make a tiny test with the exact same thing and let it keep spamming units of course you can make three 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 so make sure to keep on places so you can just click one click click one click click one click and then when you get money it's gonna keep repeating this and eventually place them all down okay we're reaching the limits of our level one units they're all level one and we're gonna still go i mean all level zero to be honest and you can see this took eight minutes and 21 seconds but instead of getting ourselves like 160 gems we got 190 gems in literally less time as well which is absolutely awesome uh because of the resetting that kind of stuff like four minutes is like the bare minimum for those stages but normally it takes like five minutes so yeah we got 192 gems in eight minutes which is absolutely awesome and of course the stronger your units are gonna be the longer you're gonna be able to continue and the more gems you're gonna get and of course i was only using three units right now of course they are mythics yes but even just three units I made it this far, which is absolutely awesome. So this is the best way to get pure gems, but no XP at all. But these were the main methods to make yourself some gems every single day. So let's go into the trade rerolls and, of course, the mixture of trade rerolls and gems. So besides the data chests, of course, we have weekly ones as well. Weeklies give you mainly gems and trade rerolls. You can see there's evolves trade rerolls, we can challenge for the uh, total challenge we completed gives you a lot of gems. We can see there's other ones as well in here like the boss kills and you can see big spender gives you all trade rules as well so make sure you do your weeklies and claim those nice trade rerolls from there as well then don't forget as well to do your challenges you have daily challenges and you have half an hour challenge so you can see right now currently we have a stone challenge and we have the daily challenge for two rerolls these uh 30 minute challenges can sometimes have rerolls but you can see this one doesn't have them so you just have to keep an eye out on those as well but you can see our daily challenges does have it sadly i already did my daily challenges today so i already did claim this but you make sure that you do these every single time for of course some extra rerolls as well then if we go into level milestones this is going to give you guys a ton of rerolls you can see once you get yourself extra levels you can see from level 25 i get myself five trade rules a thousand gems and a 1100 gold so of course if you do the method where you get xp and gold you're gonna get these levels as well and you can see like if we go to like level 100 you get yourself 15 rerolls 3 to 2000 gems 5 rerolls 5 rerolls 5 rerolls 13 rerolls for level 80 like look at these milestones 11 at 60 like you're gonna get a ton of rerolls from these which is absolutely amazing there are sometimes events as well like this boss event right here which do sell yourself rerolls so go ahead and get them from here and the raid re shop as well has 25 trade rerolls and then the last free way to get a bunch of them is going to be the achievements and mainly doing yourself nightmare difficulty so you can see if you do pandemic sand village double dungeon you get yourself a bunch of trade rerolls and then of course if you do all of them so you can see i get one two three four five six and then because i have 100 percent i get another two and i get myself another thousand gems and some other stuff as well so boom go ahead and grab all those we get ourselves all these completed and then of course if you do the same thing for sandwich you get yourselves the elder sage then we get the shadow bear from the double dungeon and then if you see we have ourselves the paragon challenges which give you super set chips and as well eventually gives you 18 trade rerolls for these so paragon is a little bit interesting so if you go over to play so click stage and go to the bottom which is paragon then you have to click nightmare don't click normal and then you have to do these paragon stages these of course go up and up and up until level 25 and that's where you can get yourself the final rewards for the whole list you can see you need to get, do yourselves 25 levels of paragon on them on nightmare make sure you do them on nightmare if you don't do them on nightmare you're not going to get these achievements and you're just wasting your time and if you've done all of that and need even more sadly the only only option is going to be the store and the best bang for your buck is going to be 
need a battle pass. The battle pass has so many trade rules inside of them, so... If you want to spend some money and you need trade to rolls, buy the battle pass instead. But that's it, guys. That's all the best ways to get yourself gems and trade rerolls. If you want a more detailed leveling guide, check out my video from yesterday. I literally in one night, I went from level 10 to level 27 in like one night. So it was a perfect and so much good experience. Well, we gained like 10,000 gems, something like that. It was crazy. But that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, I would highly appreciate a like down below. Guys, subscribe to you for more anime vanguard content. And I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. So you guys take care and bye. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, as well, take care, guys.